So it's me, Skin Glow and Afro, back to do another YouTube video. And today I wanted to talk about my driving lessons because, listen, I'm actually tired of the drivers. I'm sick and tired of Wanna. I'm tired. I can't deal with it no more. Listen, listen. Like, why are other people so goddamn inconsiderate? You understand? Like, they see, they see the car. Yeah, they see the car. They know it says learner, driver. Why are you so goddamn inconsiderate? Mm? Beeping your freaking horns because I make one little mistake as if I'm supposed to be perfect. You're not seeing me qualified yet, so what the fuck are you beeping your horn for? And some of you are qualified and... We seen your driving skills, so I don't know what you beep your horn for at me, who's learning, and you have actually passed, and you're driving like shit. Like you see me, you see me like turning to go into a different lane because there's a bus lane, and you know if the bus is there, you can't be in the bus lane, so you need to go into the right lane, right? And you see me doing this, and yet you're there trying that you're there trying to sneak into the side. Like I see you, I see you, mother skin, I see you. Okay, I see you right there. And if I if I didn't um if I hadn't put my foot on a frigging brake, your car would have gone right into me. Yeah. So stop your nonsense. You are qualified. You should know better to be doing that foolishness. Please, it's enough. And then you got the people who are just there beeping their horns for no fucking reason. They're just beeping their horn because they like to be beeping their horn. Beep, beep, motherfucker, and drive your ass away. You understand? What are you beeping your horn for so much? Like, your finger permanently lives upon that... Upon that thing. It permanently lives upon there. It permanently does. And you need to loosen your finger grip off the thing before you rub off the block off the freaking steering wheel. Okay? And you end up with a callus upon your fucking finger because you're too damn raw, so stupid. And then... You always got that certain demographic of drivers who don't know how to drive at all even though they're apparently qualified don't know how to don't know how to drive at all yeah they just spend their life mission trying to run you off the fucking road you understand that's their life's mission trying to run you off the goddamn road yeah and you're there you're there trying to go you're there trying to go slow as possible so you don't cause no accidents to people who are behind you. But you got some raw or scump man who right behind your frigging car. You know, right behind. As if, as if like the two cars are going to start hugging or something that close. That close. It don't make an ounce of sense. An ounce of sense. All it does is just vex me up. You understand? But I try and stay as calm as possible. Like today, my driving instructor had me doing some self-directed driving. He was just giving me directions, but it wasn't me. He didn't even put his hand upon the steering wheel once. You understand? Not even one time. But people were testing my patience today, beeping a horn, trying, trying to, trying to cut across. Like, don't try and cut across me. Yeah, expect like. Okay, if you want to take over, take over. But you're trying to do it when there's a bus on the other side of the fucking road and there's cars behind, like, close, close behind. And you want to be, you want to be like, say the car is here and then your car is there. That's not making an ounce of sense whatsoever to be doing that foolishness. Because you can cause an accident, but they don't give a freaking, they don't give a fuck about causing accidents. All they care about is being in a rush. But, excuse me, sir. Like, how are you going to be in a rush when you see nobody else while is going anywhere so where you think you're gonna go mm? nobody else is going anywhere so where are you going and then you cut across me yeah zoom zoom okay i go i go into the left lane to turn left you're still there okay not that not that far not that far from where i am so where was you going in a hurry please eh? where was you going in a hurry i beg you explain it to me where was you going in a freaking hurry it don't make no sense Okay, just aggressive, just aggressive as anything. Road rage has inflicted your stupid spirit. But honestly, I love to drive. Apart from other people who get on my god 
damn nerves as I explain. I really do love to drive. I really do. I love the experience of being on the road, the freedom, just you're there in the vehicle. You know, I really do enjoy driving. Like I know my my parents like my mum, she don't like driving. She just says it's um it gets her from A to B. She don't like driving. But me, I love to drive. I love being in the car. I like going for long stretches. Like we went up to Newtown today. Like I was just feeling blessed, man. Blessed, blessed, blessed. But you see, this goddamn coronavirus has like it's messing me up. Like if I don't pass my driving test by the end of this year, like because of this goddamn virus is is going around like no sir, I'm not I'm not gonna deal with that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Listen, the way, like, as much as I love driving, the way that other people act stupid, you understand? The way my, the way my foot, like, I try to keep my foot on the gas, yeah. As much as possible until when I'm turning left, right, stopping at a traffic light, whatever. But, like, sometimes you kind of want to take your foot, take your right foot off the gas and just have it permanently on the brake because the way other people do some stripping us upon the road, like, I'm the learner, and you're the one who's got your dri got your driving license, and yet you're the one who's acting stupid, and I'm the one who's here, nice and cautious, not doing too much, trying not to hesitate too much, because then it kind of pisses other people off, but, like, some of the shit you do, like, honestly, mm, who raised you? Seriously, who raised you? But yeah, that was just a few of my experiences that I've noticed since I started my... Well, I've been kind of going back and forth with my driving lessons for years now. But since I started back last month with a new driving instructor compared to the one I last had was in 2016, I think it was. Um, since I started back with this new driving instructor, things have been going good. I can't even complain. Honestly, I cannot complain Everything is going good. You know when you find the right driving structure or like the right mentor or whatever in your life, things start to go well. Like things happen in their own time and that is exactly what's happening to me now. Things happening in in the right time. And that is a true blessing. So I'm going to round this video up here and please let me know down below if you are a driver or you're learning to drive your experiences because people are fucking crazy especially in cities. So like maybe when I pass my driving test maybe I have to move to a con like move to country because I can't be dealing with this city living no more man. The people are just people in cities are mad. Absolutely mad. And I most certainly would never be driving in London. I won't be doing that don't bother asking me if i want to get driven to london then i'll get my dad to take me there that's it all right be gone bye